Welcome to this video. As requested, I'll do another video on one of my over the board games. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, um, in fact, I played this game just today and uh, I'm still tired <laughs> from the game. So please bear with me if it um, isn't a super long video. Um, okay, let's start. It was played in the, the German League here um, with my German team and uh, my opponent is an, a German international master with um, rating about 2360. It's a somewhat older player in his 50s but uh, still very solid. So let's see what happens. I open knight f3, knight f6, g3. Yeah, I often play that. I have some um, ideas in various lines. Um, prepared. He played d5 though and it went into some sort of London system reversed. Yeah, this is often called um, yeah the Lasker setup against um, the Reti. It's basically a London system reverse as mentioned. Yeah, here White has a couple of options. Um, for example, White can play the, the classic Reti move b3 with Bishop b2, d3, and so on. This is the super solid way to play. White can also play a move like d3, intending these kind of maneuvers. This is uh, also good. What I played is also a possibility. c takes d5. Um, and this has um, some concrete ideas. If black would recapture with the c-pawn, then queen b3 is um, a bit of a nuisance as b7 is hanging and black needs to spend the move with his queen and if he plays queen b6 I have various ideas I can take on b6 damaging his pawn structure or I can play d3 and bishop e3 this would damage my pawn structure but this is something uh, yeah there's a difference in this because opening the a file actually would give me some play and let's just put something on the board to show what I mean now knight d4 is an idea and I have some attack here on a7. This is um, a known line which is somewhat better for white. Um, however, he, he recaptured with the e-pawn which is probably more logical anyway. Now white played d3, bishop e7, queen b3. This is all pretty normal. The queen again attacking this pawn. So black plays queen b6 to protect this and I drop back to c2. Yeah, this might look like a um, loss of time at first. In fact, um, this isn't the case. The queen wants to go to c2 anyway because it wants to prepare this e4 move. So white will play knight c3 and e4. And the idea is that the queen on b6 is sometimes worse than on um, d8 as white will will tempi with bishop e3 or sometimes knight c3 to a4. So I sort of gifted him the move queen b6, but very often the queen only um, gets uh, kicked again on b6. And um, th therefore this is a quite a useful move to insert this queen b3. Castles, knight c3. Knight d7 and e4. So this is um, in essence the idea that white um, was introducing with the capture on d5. White has got an extra pawn in the center and he advances um, the center pawn. So black plays um, here and I grab the bishop pair. Black has no choice, he needs to take now on f3. If he would, um, would actually go to h5, there's um, at least this idea, knight h4 is also also interesting, but g4 probably leads to a good position. I'll get this uh, bishop. I have a tempo in uh, in as an in, uh, yeah as um, as the reserve here that I can that I can use. So I'll I'll grab the bishops and have an extra pawn in the center and on the king side. So in the game he took, I think this is also better. But now it's clear that white should enjoy a slight advantage. I've got the two bishops 
An extra center pawn is mentioned and possibilities on the king side. In fact, in the game, it uh, worked out very nicely. He played the move rook fd8. Now, I don't really like that. I think he probably should take and play something like rook e8. Rook e8 and rook ad8. But, um, it's um, it's not, not easy to play this position. Anyway, I think white is um, slightly better anyway. Yeah, I drop back to prepare the f uh, f4 move. Of course, not possible at the moment due to the pin, but I need to move the bishop first to think about this move at all. And now he took on e4, and this is really a concession. Maybe black could could try other things. I'm, I'm not sure. Move like that, maybe. Yeah, but white white should be better. I'm, I'm, I'm maybe slightly biased. I really like this kind of structure as white. You've got the two bishops, you've got a mobile majority here, and black really uh, doesn't have much play. Um, it's clear that after this, um, I'm, I'm pretty distinctly better because this, oops, bishop e3 will come with a tempo. It's four against three, and, and these, these, um, pawns are ready to go. He now played this, with, which also is rather accommodating. I'd like to get into the pin, of course. And so uh, he loses another move with the queen. Needs to get out of the pin. A move like this simply gets answered with here and b4. It's also just nothing. Yeah, and here I already have a huge choice. I can play various good moves. I played rook 81. Um, here also f4 was good. Or even rook c1 was an idea with this kind of uh, idea. Or knight b5, depending on the circumstances. It's um, rather ugly for black, really. But rook 81 is certainly all right. Yeah, he just took and played rook d8. So a very simple approach, just exchanging. But this leads to, to a great position for white. Yeah. Took on d8. Queen takes. Yeah, he needed to, otherwise c5 would hang. And now e5 and f4. So a great uh, position. I'm advancing the pawns and uh, gain more space. Of course, he also could have um, gone to d7 here. It's pretty similar. Um, here white also has a clear advantage. Two bishops and um, this majority, this is, um, this is just um, very uncomfortable for black. Yeah, he played uh, knight e8, f4. Yeah, probably one idea of this was the following move, which is also simply bad. Queen d3. This uh, I was really shocked when this was played because it's um, it's really rather obviously bad. Queen f2. Just um, drop the queen to the side and attack the knight. And what is this queen doing except um, getting kicked away? Um, in fact, here he played um, knight to e6, which probably um, is the only move. Yeah, and here is um, the first critical position of the game where I made um, yeah a rather human move, I guess. I played king to h2. In fact, I can just take e6. Oops, knight e6. In fact, I can just take a6, uh, a7. Of course, I saw this move, but I wasn't so sure if he plays this admittedly very ugly move c5 which opens up uh, everything here i wasn't 100% uh, sure if this is really uh, really winning this this bishop on a7 is um, a bit stranded it, it cannot return easily it seems that um, this kind of move um, seems to win queen d8 and queen f3 this is what the computer wants to play simply attacking um, b7 and um, yeah, the, the computer um, assesses this as winning. Probably he is right, as this is a um, pure calculation kind of um, position. Yeah. But I simply couldn't couldn't do this. <laughs> um, I wanted to, I played, uh, as mentioned, King H2. I wanted to keep control of the position and um, simply win the tempo on the queen next. I mean, this is still a, a, a very clear advantage. But bishop a7 was probably better. Still not a very human move, I guess. At least, um, yeah, for, for me. 
He played a6 and uh, secured the pawn and now f5. This was my idea. Um, yeah, here I've got uh, multiple possibilities. Everything's a uh, clear advantage. It's hard to tell um, what's really the best. I played knight to, um, to e4, which had two ideas. One idea was to play f6 and the other was to play bishop to c5. I only uh, changed my plans afterwards. This was also a good idea. And white simply is um, simply better. Something like this. It's it's just uh, yeah. Those two pieces are are just uh, are just great. Look at this piece. So white is um, is clearly better. Ninety four wasn't bad though. Played ninety five as expected. Here I here I changed my mind. My original idea was to play um, in this position, bishop c5. The idea was that black can hardly avoid this trade. So if you look at this position, I have uh, an excellent knight on c5. But um, when I looked at this a bit deeper, I didn't really um, see how to how to make um, a big progress here. In fact, I have a very strong move, but I didn't see this. Here, um, the move I needed to see in my calculation was a knight to d7. And this is really strong. Really weird move. If you look at it, it it's, it's crystal clear. But um, still, I, I didn't, didn't consider this at all. The idea is queen c5, which would threaten mate, and <laughs> therefore basically um, yeah, forces the queen exchange. And um, and this kind of end game is simply uh, winning because the knight on c5 attacks b7 and this cannot be protected. I also have the far better bishops than than those lame knights, so this is just just a winning position. For example, a5, queen c5 to just put it on the board. Need to exchange. Yeah, and now this pawn is uh, is the problem. Black plays something like this. I can proceed in this fashion. And um, black is uh, black is terrible here. Can, can continue if you want. And now, king comes. Yeah, terrible position. But um, I then was attracted by something else. I played this move with the idea f6, and I underestimated that black can play f6 now himself, which uh, in fact he didn't do. <laughs> he should do this. F6 is uh, is pretty okay for black. I can I can take and uh, let's say something like this is still uh, better for white due to the due to the bishops, but it's um, it's probably playable for black. So you've got this black's got this strong point now on d5. This is of course a disadvantage um, of this e5 uh, move. So um, f6 was a threat and he didn't address this, he just played this move and now I went f6. It's not clear that this is really the best move, maybe a move like a3 or still bishop c5 was better. I was attracted by this knight to g5. It looks very strong attacking and uh, bishop e4 coming, but black can save himself with, he only has got one move, which he didn't play. Um, black needs to play now queen g6 and um, my intention was h4, h6, bishop e4, queen h5, and then I thought, all right, here, 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 there must be something. <laughs> this is the kind of calculation that uh, sometimes uh, just leads to disaster. In fact, white doesn't have uh, have a great continuation here. Um, funny enough, I mean, it looks terrible for black, but probably I need to settle. Um, with this in my in my uh, calculation i always um thought um i can if, if everything else fails i can always repeat moves right so um okay but it just didn't happen in fact in the game after um after knight g5 he played bishop h6 and this loses instantly um the first move i made was correct <laughs> bishop e4 the obvious uh, move also Queen d1, check. bishop h7 check, king f8. Yeah, and here I made uh, the first mistake, really. Up to this point, I think it was 
rather decent, rather decent game by by me. But uh, here I made a mistake. I simply overlooked um, a rather rather simple idea, but I played this move. But um, better is bishop to c2. The problem is, what should black do now? I thought he might retreat to h5. Let's say here, and then the problem is the following. I only thought about bishop c5 check, and um, this in fact isn't so clear. Look at this. It looks terrible, but there is no clear win. No completely clear win. The queen covers f7, and um, it's not clear. This is also hanging. The problem is I don't I don't need to do to, to play this check. I have another move and this move is, is the, the winning move. I didn't consider this at all. I mean this is really bad that I didn't uh, didn't do the, consider. The problem is whatever black plays the king move obviously. I have g4 and the queen is trapped. I didn't think about uh, this idea at all. No, he simply has no way to to save the queen now. He can give a check. desperado check which I can just take and then I'm a uh, piece up for nothing yeah I simply overlooked knight h7 this idea this is why I didn't play bishop c2 I played check. this check first king e8 bishop c2 yeah and now there's there's no check of course but uh, okay white is still um um yeah, much better. Knight e4. I'm, I, I got this extra pawn now. I've got knight d6 coming. But um, black with knight e6, I mean, he's still playing. He's not resigning yet. And um, the, the other line are just, just won outright. So I was already slightly annoyed here at, <laughs> uh, at my own um, failure because uh, I, f I felt, I really felt that the game should have been over already. So I gave this check. He played king d7, which in fact is a mistake, but it was difficult. We both didn't have much time. Note that the times here are complete nonsense in, on the on the clocks. It was um, an, um, uh, played with um, about two hour time control with increment, but um, two. Oops, oops, sorry. Um, about two two hour time control. King f8 was better, but this is also a move that uh, it's hard to hard to see, because you simply w you walk into into this um, oops to this discovery. White is is much better still, but this this is better than the game. He went here, and now um, I didn't have much time on the clock, as I said, and I simply overlooked um, an something here. In fact, I made a mistake with knight b7. I could win with bishop f5. I didn't really calculate at this point. I just I just made a move <laughs> and I took on b7. And this is stronger. The idea is, amongst others, g4. Attacking this queen. And if it moves, then I can probably take f7 with the knight. This is one, one idea. And okay, simply this Bishop pins the knight, so it protects c5 in a way. Um, this is um, this is winning. There are even some some nice tricks here. Let's say b6, bishop g4, queen here. Otherwise, I'll take it, and then this move. Yeah, bit of a computer line. White is winning totally here. It's, um, it's not even so difficult once you see the the first moves. Yeah, I just took took here and thought, all right, okay, this is two pawns. Um, I must I must win now somehow. And uh, then he played this move, and and um, <laughs> it was really um, really uncool that this was happening. And now um, I'm in trouble. All these pieces are, are somewhat loose. And um, I was glad to have this move, which uh, which which secures. Um, yeah, still some some play, some sets him some problems. Let's say the problem is, what should I do? If I if I just move the knight away, he can take here, here, yeah. queen e two, and it's a perpetual. I cannot yeah. escape this. 
check. Just a shame. And um, yeah, what what should I play? The night is hanging, and everything's um, just just bad. I found Bishop F five, which is um, the move that sets the most problems. And um, yeah, here black can draw outright, but he didn't see it. I mean, we both didn't have much time or close to time control. Played this move, which is a mistake. Um, but it was very difficult to see. Um, he actually could take here, which I absolutely also rejected outright, but it, it is in fact playable. Can take here. F7. This is what I saw, and I thought, okay, I'm promoting and probably win the game, but black has knight f6, and this is what we both overlooked. And this is strong. It, it threatens um, knight to g4. The pawn is hanging also. So white basically um, doesn't have any other move than taking. And then black can simply take here. If I now choose to uh, grab the, the bishop, Check. Then he's got a perpetual, and in fact, I cannot avoid getting um, getting perpetual here. It's um, simply a draw. Knight f6 is very strong. We both um, didn't see this at all. He decided to at the end play this move, which is also interesting. Probably, I'm not sure. I, I, I didn't see this line also, but this this knight f6 line. I mean, um, we both missed it. But this, if you look at this, it, it's obvious that black has some play for the pawns. Bishop e3, he's, he's yeah, skewering this. Mm -hmm. Queen, uh, I took on a6, of course. King b6, and uh, queen f1. And now I can barely cover both pieces, and they're both, in a way, stranded. <laughs> they're not protected by any pawn, and Especially the knight on a6 is uh, really a problem piece. It can go to yeah b8. That's the only only square. I'm sorry, <clears throat> I'm really tired after this game. Uh, it's the only square basically. And um, yeah, he's got pretty well coordinated pieces. So I wasn't sure here at all about this position. Um, yeah, it's it seems that white is still somewhat better, but um, it's uh, really difficult to to play. In fact, we both made um, some more mistakes. <laughs> yeah, he played queen f5, uh, queen g5, which is probably all right. Getting a queen on the dark square and um, attacking here, probably intending to attack here. Yeah, I played um, knight to b8. Yeah, and this is. Maybe not the best move, but I think um, this is really beyond human understanding what you should do here. Because I mean, maybe if you're a super strong calculator, which I'm not, then you can maybe play another way. The computer wants to play this and um, gives white a rather distinct advantage. I mean, I saw this move obviously, but I wasn't clear. I wasn't sure at all how do I get this knight back into play. I mean, this is just stranded here. I always need to to use a piece to 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 keep it even. And uh, where do I go? I thought, okay, we play something like this. And how do I make progress now? He will get this pawn. And okay, it's two pawns, I know. But how do I make progress without the knight? I simply I simply didn't see any any direct concept. The computer wants to play stuff like this. The idea being to play a B4 and combining all kinds of tactical ideas. Check. This, for example. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's interesting. Probably is this is better. I mean, the computer is usually right in these positions, but um, it's not. It's not uh, not easy at all. Um, a possible line that I can show um, is after this, bishop d3, queen e5, and b4. This is also an idea. But this is, for example, a line that the computer gives us winning for white, which I'm not sure at all. Check. Let's say this. And um, the computer thinks that this kind of, oops, this kind of uh, line 
should win. Yeah, this the computer assesses as winning for white, which I'm yeah absolutely not sure about. It's just one pawn. He gives this as 1.2, and I'm not sure. This bishop is always controlling h8, and um, black's got a c pawn also. Uh, it's not clear. I mean, white is better, sure, but if you're winning, it's it's not clear to me. So. Um, yeah, all right. I played this move. The idea being to get the knight to d7. It's, it looks weird, <laughs> but I thought from d7 it at least protect this pawn and may, maybe at one day I can get to e5. Yeah, he played king, um, king back, attacking the knight. And I went to d7 as, um, as mentioned. And, um, yeah, here black probably could draw the game. I say probably because it's really difficult. He played bishop to a7, getting this bishop out of the way, so to say. I thought this was better, and in fact the computer agrees, one of the very few instances in the game where the computer agrees with my move, or my assessment, let's say. I think this is better, really. Um, a possible line, which is not easy at all to, to play, is this. Um, Let's say an alternative is h4, just to show it. Then he gives a check, and this and this is similar to the game actually, and the draw. Look at the game, and you'll you'll understand why this is a draw. So um, the idea could be this one, but this is also very very tricky. I mean, look at this move. At first, you think, all right, it threatens mate. Probably you need to exchange. And now we've got an issue with this bishop. But the computer um, just wants to play the funny move, bishop e6, which you all need to see beforehand. Otherwise, you're probably worse even. And um, this completely insane line is better for white. <laughs> It looks completely, completely ridiculous, but um, it seems to be better for white. He needs to now take here, and white takes here. This, this in fact, after f7 loses. The point being that I threatened this and f8, and this is uh, also not better. Sort of a fork, threatening f8, queen and uh, attacking the, the bishop. Yeah, white is winning. Yeah, th this is in fact the line that, that is close to winning. But um, it's super difficult. I mean, really difficult. And black, on, after this move, doesn't need to play queen e3. It's just a, a sample line. I think still the think this is better than, um, than uh, the game, probably. He went to a7. And um, yeah, now it's my turn. And... Uh, Probably I had a better move now. I played h4. It's, it might be all right, but uh, the, the idea connected with it was wrong. There are alternatives here. Um, in fact, the computer gives weird stuff like bishop e6, which I didn't really uh, consider. And uh, it's probably also not uh, not too clear. Um, an, an idea, though, was um, knight e5. The idea is that after this, queen a6 is winning. c6 is the problem. This move here. Um, but he doesn't need to play this. He, this is uh, the problem. What I didn't see here was that after this, I thought this wasn't too great because there's this. I mean, it is this, this, and now I can I can take, and um, this is um, a huge advantage for White. I, s I simply underestimated uh, this this position, so maybe ninety five was better. The computer is also not completely sure. Probably need uh, deeper analysis. In fact, after um, oops, after this, 
here on black can even go here and it, it continues it's very tricky still i mean it looks ridiculous three pawns but um black has all kinds of uh kinds of tricks here well okay i played h4 check. he gave this check and now um i probably must play queen g2 i played this the thing is it, it's similar as before check. I saw this, but what I didn't see is that in this position, after this move, I have actually king e4. And um, now um, I'm the only one with winning chances because the following line is um, is forced, really. It takes, takes here, here, h5. Yeah, the pawns are dangerous, obviously. And uh, this is um, probably the line. Funny, I don't have a check, so he will he will get a queen. Um, and now I can I can play here. Check. And um, here I still have some some chances to win the game with the two advanced pawns. Black, of course, has chances to uh, to draw with with perpetuals. Yeah, no question. But uh, this is a risk free way to try to win the game. Um, of course, this is um, rather deep variation, but. Yeah, queen g2, this was queen g2, probably better. Because this, um, in fact, uh, is a draw. And he starts with the right move. He plays uh, bishop f2. And this is good, attacking g3. This is an idea. And also this is an idea. And here white can easily lose the game. For example, if you play knight e5 now, then queen e3 just wins. Because... Um, yeah, this move. Check. Yeah, will get you. <laughs> will get you toasted quickly. Yeah, black's um, black's active, so this is not not so easy. I played uh, queen c4, which yeah, is all right, but should lead to a draw. Really, funny enough. Um. And um, he needed to play in order to to get this draw. Now he needed to play. Queen e1 with this idea. And in fact, um, there's nothing I can do to to avoid the draw. He simply has uh, a ton of checks. Um, I can play um, some moves that actually lose. Let's say here, this move and, and I'm done. It can, um, can get ugly really quickly here. Or let's say queen a6. Check. 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 And queen f3 is Check. almost made. Check. <laughs> but but Check. this is a mate. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can easily even even lose the game. I mean I was really annoyed that this was on the board, <laughs> considering how easy um, the win was some time ago. Yeah, um, but what draws actually? I think Queen B3 is, uh, is is one of the draws over protecting G3 Check. and this kind of Check. stuff is a perpetual. Yeah, this would have drawn Queen E1. He played this, and this is um, yeah a big mistake. Which is answered by another mistake. <laughs> I played queen g4, and I thought before that this is, um, I know, the only move really, just covering g3. In fact, I could play here, and this is much stronger. Really hard to understand why I didn't see this move. I mean, I was a bit tired, but still, the idea is just checkmate here, so black must exchange. I simply didn't consider covering g3 from the side. Just a geometrical problem somehow. Yeah, black must exchange now. And this uh, this end game, um, yeah, it's, it's three pawns. Black has some ideas due to the opposite colored bishops, but yeah, white should have very good winning chances. Um, I must play that, nevertheless, uh, whatever the chances are, if it's winning or just a clear advantage, I must play this because uh, the alternative queen g, queen g4, sorry, what I played, 
actually now black can draw again, but this is not so easy. He, he made a mistake again, he played this one. This in fact draws with this idea. But this is very surprising, this I didn't also see during the game. And uh, again white has nothing that he can do to avoid this. Let's say here. Yeah, and black gets, um, oops, not this one, sorry. Of course, oops, the check here. Yeah, queen f, f1, and again a check. check. Yeah, the king is simply, simply um, impossible to, to get out there. It is perpetual, what can you do? Bishop g1, but he played this. And uh, now after bishop e4, I'm finally and completely winning <laughs> again. Um, yeah, I'm covering these those critical squares here and simply threaten to take it and knight e5. This is too much. Not quite sure what he what he overlooked with this. I mean, you can overlook maybe bishop g1, but I'm not sure why play this because bishop e4 is really relatively easy to see. But yeah, it was um, a game full of mistakes. Also, maybe due to the fact that the match was also rather tight. I don't know. He played bishop a5 now. And in fact, black has no move here. It's it's just over. It took. And before. And black says black does, doesn't have any counterplay now. Played here. And here, um, yeah, white has more than one way to win. I played this attacking d5. And after d4, this move, this, this blocks the pawn. And of course, threatens queen d7. Played here. And um, yeah, here I gave this check yeah. because I thought this would uh, would win uh, rather easily, taking here. But then uh, then I noticed one line. Let's have a look. Check. 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 And here I first thought, check. okay, this and this, and it's uh, and, and I'm winning because this check. is really easy. But uh, then he has check. got this, and after I saw this line, which is a perpetual, <laughs> again, um, I thought, all right, maybe this isn't so clear. If I take, I just drop back. Black has no move here. He, he needed to go back, and then knight c4. I mean, this this is good enough, just winning the bishop. Let's play this. Knight c4, I now resigned, because after d2, I can uh, I can simply take it. Queen takes, queen f4, Check. and um, yeah, this uh, this I uh, I'll win even on a bad day like today. <laughs> um, yeah, a game with uh, lots of mistakes by both sides, but uh, this is also yeah a sign of the times that the computer points out all those mistakes um, instantaneously, and uh, it isn't so easy to play over the board. It's it's really it's not a correspondence game. You cannot ask a computer, and you can miscalculate on on every move. And in fact, we both did so in the game on more than um, one occasion. The only thing that that is really bad, I think, um, I should have um, made this knight h7 check. This wasn't wasn't too difficult to to see really. This uh, winning line around here check. when I played check. this check and um, bishop c2. And uh, oops, I cannot make arrows. Bishop c2 and knight h7 was winning rather, rather easily. Yeah, I, despite the mistakes, um, I hope you enjoyed the game. I think it was, it was, um, it was still interesting from a tactical point of view. And also, I was um, it's pretty interesting this kind of position because at first you think three pawns, yeah, white must win easily, but it isn't easy at all. Try to analyze this for yourself with the computer and you'll find that Black's counterplay is really, <laughs> really a problem. Yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll be back soon with new stuff.